Welcome to the Portuguese island of Madeira. Situated off the coast of Portugal in a rift zone in the Atlantic Ocean, Madeira is known for its diverse and beautiful landscapes. The island is home to a range of terrains including sea cliffs, mountains, valleys, and lush forests. Hi everyone, we're Jason and Lauren, and during our honeymoon this summer, we had the opportunity to spend 11 days in Madeira where we experienced firsthand these awe-inspiring landscapes and unique locations. We're very excited to be sharing our top 10 favorites with you. Stay tuned till the very end of this video as the final one on our list features a scenery that is near impossible to come by anywhere else in the world. There are countless more stunning places throughout this island such as the hike of the 25 Fontes and the pebble beach looking out to the Ilhéus da Ribeira da Janela, but our absolute top 10 favorite are narrowed down to these. Let's begin our journey on the easternmost coast of Madeira. This long peninsula known as São Lourenço consists of a stretch of green plains and red volcanic sand sitting in a bed of blue waters. You might find yourself having traveled to Mars as you hike the path through this rocky landscape resembling a dragon's tail emerging from the ocean. On the north side of the peninsula, we enjoyed the humbling feeling of looking down upon the steep black cliffs jutting out of the water and spotting the many black and maroon basalt columns along the coast. Hiking to Ponta San Lorenzo is fairly easy and great for all hiking levels. With built-in steps and guardrails throughout and only 7 kilometers round trip across 400 meters in elevation gain, you can complete the trail in roughly 3 hours. We absolutely love doing this as our first hike on the island. west tip of the island, you can't miss out on the natural swimming pool of Porto Moniz. For only 3 euros a person, you can swim and wade in the tide pools naturally filled with the coastal seawater amidst the black volcanic rock formations. The water is filtered and treated to make it optimal for swimming while maintaining its temperature of around 20 to 21 degrees Celsius. You'll definitely be jolted awake if you submerge yourself completely in the water if you weren't already. Enjoy this unique opportunity to swim in the ocean with a dramatic and picturesque backdrop while still being protected from the strong currents and waves that can be found in the open sea. We also had a fun time meeting some friendly little crabs and fish while we swam here. Just a 20 minute drive southwest of Porto Moniz, you'll find the Achadas da Cruz cable car that takes you to one of the most unique spots in Madeira. From 575 meters above the sea, coming down at a 98% slope, this pod cable car is the steepest in all of Portugal. Slow and steady, in a small capsule that only fits six people at a time, you'll make your way down to the agricultural village of Fajan da Cabrada Nova where you can walk the brick path along the coastline and enjoy some Madeiran food in the comfort of a local's home. It felt like we stepped back in time here and experienced a traditional version of Madeira with small, stone-laden houses, zero cars, and the quietness of agricultural living. Heading back to the north, there's a beach unlike any other on the island. Instead of big boulders and pebbles, you'll be greeted with the finest black sand on Seychelles Beach. It's a small stretch facing east, but it's all we needed to enjoy the most captivating bright orange sunrise we had on our entire honeymoon. 
The luscious Jurassic Park-like landscapes of the northern cliffs are tremendous and beautifully reflect against the smooth, dark sand. From the beach, you'll also be able to spot a narrow, bridal veil waterfall called Veo da Noiva. We highly recommend seeing the falls up close from its iconic viewpoint situated on an observation deck perched on a cliff top just east of Seychelles. If you could only visit one place for sunrise in Madeira, make Pico do Ariedo your top choice. There is no better spot to watch the sun make its way above the horizon and the thick layer of clouds. We never imagined witnessing such a stunning cloud inversion like this one. The fluffy veil completely coated the valleys and lined the surrounding forested peaks wherever our eyes could see. As the sun got brighter, we could start to see the Atlantic Ocean gleaming right off the coast. We recommend coming well before sunrise as parking gets full quickly and setting up a cozy spot with blankets on the rocks or on the hill and enjoy the show. Pico do Ariedo is also the start of one of our favorite hikes of all time. Leading down and up constructed stone steps, along ridges and through carved out tunnels, in between lush subtropical plants and spooky white trees, you'll reach your summit, Pico Gruivo, the island's highest peak standing at 1,862 meters above sea level. Throughout this entire strenuous and rewarding out and back hike of 12 kilometers with over a thousand meters in elevation gain, you might be fortunate enough to be above the clouds from start to finish. That's where we lucked out and we couldn't get over the intense cloud inversion all around us. Seeing these natural phenomena and sceneries is a memory to keep forever, but we also highly admire the intricacy of culture and urban development on this gem of an island. San Vicente is an enchanting town laid out on hill terraces embraced by the lush green mountains and the ocean to the north. The most picturesque landmark here is a little chapel of Nossa Senhora de Fatima sitting atop a hill with majestic views all around. It takes about 180 steps to reach the Capilinha, making it a quiet setting for a lookout. We'd say it's one of the more underrated spots on our top 10 list. You can't travel to Madeira without visiting the capital city at least once. Funchal is home to rich history, delicious traditional dishes and local specialties, and many narrow cobblestone streets to wander aimlessly. We were keen to explore the exotic botanical gardens and art museum of Monte Palace. Stunning sculptures, murals, and architecture are displayed throughout the grounds for your eyes to feast on, and you can admire the gorgeous view of Funchal and the coast from here. If there is one place to experience the beauty and history of Madeira in a relaxing and peaceful setting, it'd have to be Monte Palace. After touring the multi-level garden and museum, hop on a traditional basket toboggan for an exhilarating downhill ride back to the city center.
Towards the center of the island, you'll feel like you're once again on top of the world at the viewpoint of Pica de Cana. This underrated vista peers out to the northeast facing the Madeira mountain range on the other side of the valley. We had to come here for yet another glorious sunrise and we were blessed with being above a sea of clouds. As a layer of clouds receded towards the ocean, they revealed the colorful town of San Vicente nestled between the mountains and the soft waves hitting the town's shoreline. Even the drive up on the open road nearing the Pica de Cana trailhead was an adventure in its own right as we dodged the multitude of little bunnies that zigzagged across the road. Lastly is this one-of-a-kind location that we've never come across anywhere else on the planet, Fanal Forest. Though you may hover over the clouds at Pica de Cana, you'll find yourself among them when it's the perfect condition in the woods of Fanal. The ideal time to visit is when the fog surrounds the area completely, giving the forest its spooky charm. Out of the three times we came here, only once were we enveloped by thick clouds and misty air. Considering how warm it is everywhere else on the island, you'll feel much colder immersed in the mist, and the chilly, eerie atmosphere of the forest will resemble something straight out of a fairy tale storybook. That's it for our top 10 must-sees on the island of Madeira. There are many more natural and cultural sites we loved exploring on this incredible island, but we hope this gives you a good idea on what Madeira has to offer. Let us know in the comments below which is the highest on your Madeira bucket list, and we'll see you guys in the next video.